Well, I was going to write Kiss Me here, but um, that would scare me. He's just too handsome. Hey, I'm Freaky Fraps, and I got requested to go back to Unreal Engine 5. So that is what we're doing today. I have downloaded a couple of really high quality models. As an example, I have Cthulhu. This is a 4.7 million triangle sculpture, probably made in ZBrush by some professionals. I have Nanite disabled right now, so this is running like crap. And I also have a couple more. This is a 1 million poly assets. I actually made some emissives for the lighting here and some reflective. I had to retexture this because the texture didn't work, so yeah. There's a shit ton of detail as you can see. Absolutely crap ton of detail. So this is a one and a half million poly three or something. Really high quality. It's supposed to be fo photorealistic. One and one point six million triangles. I'm going to try and enable nanite for everything and see how it works. So I just opened this up in Blender, added some more polygons for his lip. And I just uh, drew this on it. Yeah. I'm also going to turn on the nanite visualizations to see if we can see all the triangles here. Yeah, and I also have a flower. This is actually fully modeled, actual geometry. I'm just going to try uh, select actors using this asset. Yeah, there we go. This should work, right? That that works. Yeah, we have a bug. This does not show up here. Epic, fix this. This is a really huge asset. I cannot handle two of these. I can only handle one. But if I turn on the nanite right now, well, that didn't work. So <laughs> you should never use this for a really large assets. Just don't do it. It's, it will not work. You have to open it. <laughs> weird. Okay. Voila. This works perfectly. Hi there. Well, I was going to write Kiss Me here, but um, that would scare me. He's just too handsome. <laughs> well, this looks weird. This looks really weird. But it looks exactly like it did in Blender. There's no difference. We can still see it from a really far away. Detail is still there. Even though it's really small now. And I do have a couple of meta humans here as well. We're going to try those out later. Right now I want to try... Let's try a tree. Because why not? This is a really high quality tree. I cannot have more than like a couple of these in a scene at the time. Maybe two or three, maybe four, five, six. See the frame rate is really struggling to keep up. This is 12 trees and we are really struggling right now. This really doesn't look like a tree anymore. But you can at least see it from really far away. If you get um, far enough away, they actually vanish because this is like overlapping geometry or something. I don't really know how this works, but yeah. I think it's like just because it's overlapping, but I think they can actually fix that. Ba basically just a bug in the system. They are working on it. Nanite enable. Yep, works. Yeah, we're gonna stop there. This is just getting ridiculous. Nobody in the right mind is gonna use this amount of flowers. As you can see, they're all here. The same amount of detail. They all have shadows. These are actually not vanishing. I mean, okay, maybe they are, but yeah, we can actually see them at really far away, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I can wait until we can just model stuff in side of Unreal Engine with Nanite enabled. So this is a fully modeled bike with like, yeah. Just absolutely crazy on the de details here. This looks so good. All the lighting and everything. Texture does not work. But yeah, you can still see the amount of detail on it. That's absolutely crazy. I don't know what type of textures this uses. Maybe some translucent textures or something on the glass. Maybe that's the problem. They are working on it. They are planning to support basically everything with nanites in the future and this one 7 million triangles basically it's absolutely insane so much detail on this guy this just this is just ridiculous i'm just gonna enable nanite there Let's zoom in look at this holy cow this guy is ridiculous Stony. You can really mix the match with nanite and non-nanite objects if you want. More metahumans, I can just copy these. But these guys are really demanding. It actually just go straight to a dryer. What is that? That's a bug, right? No, that's a... That's a <laughs> lost some... <laughs> lost some detail in there. 
they'll probably be looking for this too for a while. So this is nanite enabled and it looks amazing. All of that, all of that detail. I'm really moving too fast there. If anybody knows a hotkey for that, I want to know. Comment down below. This is just insane. Even then, we even got the holes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to get the money size here, guys. Um, yeah. Been way too close to that thing. This alien is insane. And yes, I have already tried copying that. And it does not look like it makes any difference how many polygons something has. They still have the same amount of everything. We're gonna have a close look at this. And we're gonna copy it a billion of billion times. And we're gonna try and see how many of these we can have physics enabled on. while standing on the ground. I'm gonna make this really small. Like tiny. I'm gonna have them really dense together. We're gonna need something for scale. Uh, maybe ban banana. That will work. Tiny little Play-Doh characters right here. Yeah, all the details are still there. We can actually check. I have to adjust my FOV here. See? Yeah, no yeah, shadows here is really broken with that. This is really tiny, and there's still a lot of detail on it. Actually, it's the same amount of detail as if, as if they were large. Damn. Impressive stuff. Yeah, we found another bug here. Well, something they can work on once we get close. I can get closer. You remember how small these are? These are really small. I'm gonna make them larger now. This is like uh, 30,000 unmerged objects right now. Still running like, uh, yeah. Really smoothly. Really fine. Now we have to do this. See if we can select 30,000 actors. And uh, yes, we can. Really fast, actually. Yeah, we're dealing with like 2.3 2 trillion tri triangles here. Not really that much. My record is actually 16 million, not trillion. And I could still go keep going. I was like freaking 10 million, uh, 10 million copies I have done before. So yeah, this thing has 8k textures actually. And everything else has, you can have 8k textures or 16k or whatever you want. And uh, an absolute insane amount of polygons. Now we're going to have a look at the human in here. In the meta human creator, they are actually working on meta pets as well. Hopefully, they're going to do meta animals with like elephants and kangaroos and every animal there is, so we can make a proper hunt hunting game. And hopefully, they can make a meta monsters and meta something else. Hopefully, that will happen as well. Would, would be really cool. To see like meta zombies and meta aliens and meta different monsters really high quality so while we're waiting for meta human to load in we're gonna have a look at this um, voxel system that allows you to have um, a physicalized world as you can see here you can really do a lot of stuff with this and every single rock and uh, yeah i don't really know but probably everything here is has physics on it you can see even the grass is blowing in the wind. So this is running in Unreal Engine 5. And there is nanite on the mountains in the back. But it does not use any nanite on the rocks you can see here. Even though it probably could. So every single one of these statues was like... 33 million triangles, right? There was like 500 of them. This is running on... A computer at 60 fps actually now they imported a bike here with like really high quality with nanite everything works that thing is really nice have a look at this these are actually individual objects here they have modeled themselves i think 
This is like absolutely crazy. Oh, Sarah, you can see this. The model, like individual little. This is really small as well. Nanite Nana, is just absolutely crazy. Nanite is insane. And every single one of these objects in this uh, entire scene, or entire game, or whatever this is, demo is at the same quality. So we can really have games looking like this if we wanted. Look at this. 8k texturing or higher, I don't really know. Might use some 16ks as well. And that's just ridiculous that we can have this amount of detail. If we were talking like a console generation, this, this level of detail would probably be like PlayStation 100. We're just doing medium now. We can actually do epic and with ray tracing. Because this is not running on my computer and this is running on one of their servers so I can actually do ray tracing here. It is absolutely ridiculous here. This is crazy. You see every individual strand of hair. It's like 8k textures. You can actually sculpt this and start changing stuff like that. Yes, make the cheeks bigger. Probably change the color, eyebrows, up and down, eyes, yeah, lips and uh, you can change, change clothing, can change shoes, sandals, you can see the toes actually, high quality toes, high quality, really high quality, Let's see where we're spawning here, yeah, perfect, it runs at least, it's really smooth but it runs. I think you can have a lot of physics in the game. If you just activate them when you need them, they are rolling pretty smoothly as well. Always oh, shaking. Ooh. These guys are heavy. I can only imagine if I had like an RTX 4080 or something. Maybe a 5080 or I'm going over to the multi chip modules. Or RDNA 3 or something, maybe. We're moving out over to uh, multi-chip modules. Meaning they're going to have like two or more graphics cards on one. Basically. That is a lot though. That is a lot. That is actually quite impressive. Because just running one of these would not work for a game. Did that just glow there? It's weird. What is that? What is... <laughs> okay. Whatever. And just to finish off, we're going to try out the uh, ancient demo. Actually, I've actually downloaded this and compiled it myself. And we are getting 16 FPS because I'm recording. Without, without recording, I'm getting more than 20 FPS at least, like probably like 25 to 30. This is all running on a 980 Ti. And the recording is even laggier than the game, okay. Well, uh, 19 FPS, yeah. These are some things I actually... Uh, yeah, the monkeys I actually, I actually did myself. Just for a, a little test there. If we go really close to this, I have... I tried to... You can, see, can you see that, guys? This is Norwegian, and it's saying, can you see me? Yes, I can. This thing is really high poly. Like, absolutely crazy high poly. I just uh, subdivided this in. No, actually, so yeah, subdivided this entire thing. So every polygon on this thing is just as small as this little. tiny, tiny little uh, details there. So yeah. And the load times on the Unreal Engine 5 is absolutely insane. This is taking like. 5 seconds top. And we are loading in like crazy amount of uh, assets, assets and the details here. These are still here. Because I don't really know how to use the world uh, or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if this is a nanite mesh they're doing destruction on. But if they are, that is crazy. And this guy is made out of millions of triangles all glued together to a skeleton 
and we are running like absolute crap but I, i've seen this on youtube it is running like s close to 60 fps on a 3080 at 4k or something or no 4k that is probably 1080p or 1440p yeah 10 fps here if i didn't record i would get like probably more than 20. this is like a recent game that's coming out for horizon forbidden west as you can see this is really detailed not running in Unreal Engine 5 though. This is really well well done. On some really good engineer. You can even see the moss here, really detailed. The trees. Like really detailed. You can still take this and times it by a hundred with like if you really have nanites enabled for everything. You can really see that. Just taking full advantage of your computer and just rendering every sing a single polygon for every single pixel on the screen. Well, that was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to know when I'm uploading. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. I'm walking around in the circle of life.